Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Right now I have my sister here as a model and we're doing a prom makeup tutorial. So right now I'm filling out her brows using the Morphe brow pencil in the color Java. Guys, this is the cheapest eyebrow pencil out in the market. Retail for $5, guys, get it. So I'm taking my NYX concealer in the color 6.3 to carve out her brows and I'm using my Morphe 410 brush to help carve out her brows. Using the same concealer from NYX, I'm going to use that to prime her lids. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M173 buffing brush to buff out or blend out the concealer so we have a smooth canvas. Now we're setting the lids and I'm using my Morphe E48 brush and I'm using my Patrick Star uh, loose powder. So I'm taking my MAC Warm Neutral Palette that I got ages ago. Um, I usually use that for my brides and I decided to whip that palette out just to do my sister's eye look. Um, so I'm taking my M411 brush and I'm going in with that transitional color. I don't know the names of the colors that I'm using but I will list them down in the order that I've used the eyeshadows down in the description box down below. And I'm doing back and forth motion using the same brush, the M411 for for one brush I'm taking a darker cool tone color and I am working it in the outer corners and bringing it into the crease so I'm just deeping out her um, transitional color right now So now I'm taking my MAC 242 brush to do a cut crease. Um, I am using the Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. Uh, I forgot the color of the concealer, but I will list it down in the description box down below. But it's not a pure white concealer. It's sort of like a off-white. And we're doing a cut crease. You know the saying, slow and steady wins the race. That exactly applies to doing a cut crease. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm doing a half cut crease, so I'm not taking it outwards. We're just going to keep everything in. So still using my MAC Warm Neutral Palette, I am taking that gold color that's in the palette and with my Jaclyn Hill brush JH41 from her Jaclyn Hill brush collection from Morphe, I'm just patting it into the lids. So I'm going back in with my Morphe M441 brush and dipping that second transitional color again from my MAC Warm Neutral Palette. I'm just brushing out the edges. Anything that's harsh from that from that carve that I did, that cut crease, I'm just, you know, blending it out and I'm kind of sweeping that color inwards into that cut crease just to give that gradient effect. And I love doing that on my clients. And I love doing that, you know, that nice gradient look so it looks like you know it's blended and it's going you know that everything is just blending into each other so that's what I'm doing so 
So taking my JH41 brush again, I'm using a loose pigment from um, Iconic London. I will leave it down in the description box below. I started out with that color, that loose pigment, and then right in the end of that cut crease, I am placing a gold glitter from NYX. And before I even put the loose glitter, the loose pigment, and the glitter I made sure I use a glitter primer and the glitter primer I use is also from NYX Now using my M441 brush again I'm going into my MAC warm neutral palette and I'm dipping that a brush into a deeper color just to sweep it into the glitter just to continue that gradient look that I'm trying to achieve for this makeup look now I'm taking my NYX um, liquid liner in black matte black and I'm just aligning her uh, lash line So I'm taking my Maybelline Total Temptation um, just to prep her lashes for falsies that we're going to be placing. Sorry guys, but my camera gave out, but I just added some lashes and I extended her uh, wing liner. Right now I'm just de deepening the outer corners just a little bit. And I am just priming her face with the MAC Strobing Cream and Peach Light. And I'm using a random brush that I got from MAC. I forgot the number of that brush, but I'll leave it down in the description box down below. Using my um, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I also forgot the color of this foundation, but like I said, I'll leave it down in the description box down below. I'm just placing foundation all over her face using a Bare Minerals uh, foundation brush now Maybelline better skin concealer I'm adding that underneath her eyes and any place that I want to add a little bit of a highlight in her face like all the high points like in the nose around the cupid bowl cheek forehead etc so I'm doing that the color is medium deep I believe and then I'm going in with a darker color just so you know it will be easy to blend it out I don't want it to be too light and that's the born this way concealer and warm honey and I'm taking my Y17 brush from Morphe and I'm using that brush to blend out the concealer. With concealer, you want to take your time and make sure that you blend out the concealer because you don't want it to crease, you don't want it to be patchy, you don't want it to look crazy. So take your time and make sure that you blend out the concealer well. So I'm taking my Morphe's Banana Rich Loose Powder and I'm setting underneath her eyes and any place in the face that I place the concealer. I want the center of the face to be brightened and then um, afterwards I'm going to be taking my Morphe E3 brush and I'm going to be setting all over the face with a hashtag no filter press powder from Morphe in the number 10. Now I'm taking a Morphe fan brush and I'm using that fan brush to bronze up her face a little bit to warm up her face. The reason why I'm using a fan brush is because I didn't want her bronzer to look too harsh. I want her face to be as natural and radiant as possible. So I decided to use a fan brush. I learned this technique from my trainer at work and I thought that this is such a good way to apply a natural bronzer. It gives you a lot of control with the product and it gives you a natural uh, look. And I like doing that on my clients, on my brides. I like doing this. This is really, really pretty.
Now I'm using Max Pinch Me for blush, and I'm using the Mac um, 137 brush to apply it. I'm taking Morphe's M505 brush and I'm going in with the third color that I used to deepen out the outer corners and I'm just sweeping it underneath the eye just to smoke out the bottom lash. Now I'm taking the continuous mist spray and I am taking my highlighter brush. I will leave that brush number down in the description box below using my Bretman Rock Morphe Collab palette highlight palette and babe in paradise forgot the color that will be also in the description box down below i'm just highlighting the face and all the high points i want to want her face to be highlighted like in the uh in her nose cupid bowed her chin um a little bit in her forehead area just to add a little bit of a nice shimmer now i'm going back in with total temptation mascara and I'm just you know catching some mascara in her bottom lashes and yeah that's what I'm doing right now now I'm taking max lip pencil and the color cork and I'm just lining her lips right now Now I'm taking the MAC lipstick in the color Honey Love and I'm placing that all over the lips. So I'm adding some lip gloss and this is from Morphe and this is in the color Rose and I'm placing that all over the lips. Taking the continuum mist spray to set the entire face and there you have it guys I hope you guys enjoy this video I had so much fun doing the little sis makeup um, make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in a few days with another video see you guys bye